Today we are doing a juicy booty workout. This workout isolates your glutes so that only your booty and your glutes are working during this workout. Very important, what you need for this workout is a heavy-ish pair of ankle weights. When I say heavy, I mean like a 20 pound pair. It doesn't sound like a lot, 10 pounds on each leg, but when you're isolating a muscle that you don't really isolate often and when you do the right exercises, I promise you'll feel it. So starting with our little glute activation, we're gonna start on the side to do a clamshell. So you're gonna be here on your elbow, hands up. So you're actually gonna open up your leg like this, come back down, bring the knees together, out. Together, out. You can also straighten, in. Straighten, in. Really activating the glutes. Keep your heels together. It's wherever you feel it in your glutes the most. You can also lay down here if it's more comfortable this way. We do this so that when we go on to using weights, it's our glutes that are working and activated. Other side, huh, I'm gonna flip around. Sling here, legs, I mean your feet go up, knees down, open up, back in. Now if you wanna straighten, you can go out, in, out, in, really bring it in, and then back, and then back. Or you can stay here. It's up to you. It's wherever you feel it like more in your glutes. Oh my God, it burns. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and put on our ankle weights. You have about a minute here to put them on. Whoa. Oh God. These are not for the faint of heart. Wait, okay. So we are gonna start off with a kickback. In the kickback, you wanna make sure you're in all fours position. Shoulders on top of your wrists, hips on top of your knees. Leg goes out behind you like this. You're gonna go up, back down. So tap the floor lightly, come up, squeezing your glute. You should aim to do at least 15 during these 50 seconds. So go, don't go too slow. This is four, five, Six, try to match my pace. Seven, eight, whoo. Nine, 10. We just got five more, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. If you have more time, you can do one more. Come back down, then we're gonna switch sides. So when you're doing this, try to make sure your upper body is as still as possible so you're not swinging it up. Square your hips to face the floor. Nice, strong arms going up, back down. Your knee that's supporting you should be in a 90 degree position. 
Keep going. Squeeze your glute back down. Really squeeze at the top for a second. Back down. Squeeze. Squeeze. Almost done. Five more seconds ish. And switch sides. Now we're going into donkey kicks. So the donkey kick, you want to get down here on your elbows and you're kicking that leg up straight to the ceiling, flexing your foot back down. Flex down. Flex. You don't have to try to straighten your leg all the way up. Just kind of like here, like you're trying to press into the ceiling with your heel. Keep going. You got this. Keep your core tight. Try not to over arch your lower back. The movement should just be coming from your leg and your glutes. And switch sides. Bend your foot and go up. Keep your core tight, shoulders are squared, facing the floor. Really feel it in your glutes. Keep going, our booties are growing and getting bigger. Yes. Back down. And then going back to the leg you started with. We are doing a rainbow kick. So in a rainbow kick, you're starting here in this position. You're gonna go up, cross over behind your leg, come back this way. Try to keep your upper body as still as possible. So you're not rocking from side to side. Let's go, you got this. And other side. Oh my God, my booty's crying. Leg out behind you. Point that toe and let's go. By the way, if you need extra cushioning under your knee, you can grab a towel, a pillow, or whatever it is you need to make it a little bit more comfortable. And come down. So now we are gonna do one sided burnouts. So starting, we're doing one side all the way through all three exercises. So starting here with a kick back, you're going up, down, up, hold, down. 
You're going straight out behind you. Keep going. So we're staying on the same side for three exercises, back to back, and then switching sides. Try not to use the rest of your body for this movement. Make sure it's just coming from your glutes. All right, now we are, instead of doing a donkey kick, we're gonna do like a side kick. So you're gonna get on your elbow, on one of your elbows, bring the other leg out to the side, kind of like diagonal from your body. Go up, back down. This one's definitely more difficult, so you might want to go slower. Catch your breath. Up, back down, and it's totally normal to feel both glute muscles working. Your leg that's lifting and the leg that's holding you up. Keep going. Oh, doing the booty burnouts is rough. Come back up. And we're gonna end with donkey kicks, but we're gonna do donkey kick pulses. So on your elbows here, you're gonna do donkey kick position. You're gonna stay high and do very minimal movements. So up. Down, up, down. Oh my goodness. Oh, this, my booty's crying right now. Ooh. Mm. Oh my way, I literally, I can't, okay. We can do this. Come on. Keep going all the way up to the ceiling. Oh my God, I literally can't, but this is a part where you really have to push through and make it happen because this is where we grow. Oh, thank God, we can switch to the other side. Oh. Okay, starting with a kickback. Ready, go up, down, squeeze. You got this. Come on. Just breathe, focus. Focus at a spot on the floor in front of you and just do it. Just go through the movement. Don't give up. And we're going off to the side. Whew. On an elbow. Out. Let's go. Up. Down. I know it feels so hard now, but it's going to be so worth it when you finish and you're so proud of yourself. Ah, ooh. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. We can do this. Why does this leg feel so much harder? Let's go. Keep your upper body as still as you can. Using that muscle. Oh. oh my God. I literally can't. I need to roll up this mat because my knees are feeling it now. I'm just gonna make an extra little cushion for myself here and now donkey kick let's go we're pulsing down pulsing 
down. Square your hips forward, okay? Make sure you're really feeling it in your glute. This is like the under part of your booty where your glute meets your hamstring. That's where we feel it. Let's go. Up. Up. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. And then we get a one minute little break. And come down. Whew. Now catch your breath for a minute and we're going to do that whole little circuit. We did it just one more. If you are enjoying this workout and you want to see more workouts just like this one, I have over 150 full length real time workouts over on my app, Daily Thrive. We also have workout programs, workout challenges, like everything that I do to get my body and to get snatched, everything I did to get snatched for my wedding and to maintain my figure, it is all up on Daily Thrive. So you can try it for free for 14 days, see for yourself how you like it, but I promise you will love it and you can join the thousands of women around the world that are thriving and becoming their best selves every day oh and also my outfit in case you're wondering is from women's best so if you want to shop this cute little outfit okay we've got that scrunch butt which is phenomenal the link is in my description and you can use my code vicky at checkout to save some money All right, guys, come on back to the mat. I hope you enjoyed your little water break, a little bit of rest time. So we're basically gonna do this circuit one more time, starting from the top, starting from doing each side, and then going into our singular sides to really burn the booty out and get that nice, plump, juicy booty. Ready? Let's begin. So starting with our back kick, going back up and down and up and down let's go come into this with like a new you know motivation new levels of energy even though we're at the halfway point we're gonna finish even stronger than we started focused <sighs> disciplined and ready to slay up My leg is shaking. Whew. So now we're doing a, oh, on the other side. What am I talking about? Forgot about that. Other side, back kick. Remember to keep your core tight, back straight, facing the floor. Don't let your leg open out to the side like this. You're facing the floor, kicking up, down, up, down, let's go. Squeeze at the top, back down. Really try to connect with your muscle here. Like try to just imagine your glutes working here to get your leg up. So really send all your focus to your glute muscle, especially your maximus, which is like that main muscle in the middle of your booty. That is what's working to lift the leg up, up. Going straight back up behind you. Whew. And now to the other side, doing a donkey kick. I want you to remember as we do this workout that whether you put in maximum effort or you slack off, these next 10, 15 minutes we have left in here, they're gonna pass anyway. We're doing a donkey kick now. They're gonna pass anyway. How you spend these next 10, 15 minutes is totally up to you. Do you want to end this workout feeling proud, knowing that you push yourself to your maximum? Or do you want to end it kind of feeling, dang, you know, I could have done a little bit more or disappointed in yourself. As long as you push yourself to your limit and try your best, you are not going to be disappointed. So no matter what that looks like for you, whether it's doing three reps, four reps, or five, you have to be honest with yourself about whether this is your best effort. Keep that foot flexed, come on. Up. Up. 
squeeze. And going to the other side. Oh my goodness. It's killer. Bend at the knee. Oh my gosh. Oh. Go up and down. Squeeze. Squeeze. Nice and strong. Imagine there's something pulling from your heel, like a string that's pulling your heel up to the ceiling. Squeeze your glute at the top, back down. Whew. Up. Up. We got this, our last little exercise that's on the double sides or whatever. Rainbow kick, so you're going up, nice big rainbow, crossing over, bringing it back, really targeting every single part of that booty so it can be nice and round and juicy. We are redefining what it means to have a bubble butt, okay? That is what we're doing here. <sighs> Side, like out behind you. Up, oh, cross it over, back this way. You got this. We do not give up. We do not back down. Come on. That is not what we came here to do. Whew. Okay. Up. And back. And up. I know it hurts. I know it's tough. But we're going to do it anyway. Holy moly guacamole. And now we've got our singular size. I'm gonna cry, okay. Leg out behind you. Let's do it, come on. Going up, down. You can put your elbow down here to get a better range of motion here. Up, up, whoo! Oh my God, I'm literally shaking, okay. If you're shaking too, that is more than okay. We're just doing the best. We can and setting new limits, new boundaries for ourselves. Oh my God. Got 15 seconds to go. Do not drop that leg. Keep it up. Come on. And come back down. <laughs> this better double in size at the end of this workout. <laughs> and now going out to the side on your elbow here. Going up, down, really targeting that side booty now. We can slow it down here a little bit because I know it's defo not easy. Mmm. Okay, we can do this. Up, down, up, down, up, back down. Oh my God, 12 seconds left. What? Okay, we got this. Let's finish strong.
And the last exercise on this side, we're actually doing a little leg circle, something new, okay? Not a donkey kick. So that goes out behind you, and we're gonna do a circle. So basically starting here. Oh my God, I'm about to sing the national anthem because I don't even know what else to say. Ah, circle, circle, okay. Whose idea was to do a circle? That was my idea. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's go, come on. This is the last exercise we're doing on this side. Circle, make a big circle. Your foot is the paintbrush. Try to keep the rest of your body as still as possible so the rest of your body is not going in a circle. It's staying still. <sighs> keep your core tight. Let's go. Back, down, and let's switch to the other side. Oh, oh girl. That's it. We have one more side left and we're done. I am so freaking sweaty. It's not even funny. Starting with a kick back. <laughs> we can do this. Let's go. Going up, down, up, down. Let's go. Just don't think about like the fact that it's so hard, the fact that it burns. Just, just breathe. Focus on one movement in front of the other. The fact that we're almost done and you want to finish strong. You want to finish like a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Court tight, let's go. Let's go. Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a hoo hoo. You know, when I'm in pain, I just start singing songs because I feel like it distracts my brain from giving up. <sighs> ah. What did we do next? Oh, we went out to the suede. Oh, that's right, trying to get that side booty. So you want to get on your elbow here, put your leg out behind you, a little bit to the side, and we're going up. And we're going down. And we're going up. We're going down. <sighs> okay, keep going. If you find yourself leaning back too much, bring yourself forward so that you really feel it in your glute. Because if you're back too much, you're going to feel it too much in your lower quad. The quad is on the ground. So the more forward you lean, the more you'll feel it concentrated and focused on the booty. Let's go. Yep. Yep, buddy. Yep, yep. Oh my god. Okay, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Three, two, I'm not counting the seconds, I'm counting the rest, okay? One, and zero, zero's a number. Ugh. And we're gonna finish off with leg circles. I don't wanna pass out, okay. Leg circles, leg out behind you, <laughs> let's do this. You can go whatever direction you want, whatever <sighs> makes you happy. The truth be told, neither of these make me happy, but let's go. Let's go. We are so dang close to the finish line. With every rep you push yourself forward, you gain 1% of an inch around your glutes, okay? So it just, oh, okay. 15, 10 seconds left. Not even 15, 10 seconds left. Huh. Last circle, and just, I'm calling it, calling it, T-O-D of my glutes, time of death, whatever time this was. Okay, let's do a quick little stretch because you don't want to cry when you go to sit on the toilet tomorrow, so let's, let's just do that. Oh my god, my thing got so bent. You can go ahead and take off your, your ankle weights, and then we're going to do a stretch together. What the? Oh, okay. Oh, be gone. I don't want to see you for another week. Like, literally. Let's just speed this up. Okay. Once that's off, let's do a quick stretch. Oh my God. Oh, first of all, let's lay down here. Oh, 
quick little stretch upward dog stretch out that chest the abs even though we didn't really work this part of our body i feel like we hold a lot of tension here when we do these moves because everything's so like tight sit back into a little child's pose wiggle your booty here oh that feels nice okay Whew. and now sitting down on your booty you're going to cross one leg like this like you're doing a number four bring the knee up let your knee fall away from your body so you can really feel a stretch in your glutes and we're gonna hold this here for like i don't know like 20 seconds feeling the stretch this is no joke right now Keep holding and let's switch sides. So bring those legs out in front of you. Number four, bring the knee up. Oh my God, try to with your hands, push your chest closer towards the leg and let the knee fall away from you. So not like this, just let it fall away from you and hold it and oh my gosh, this is the time where you really just feel proud of yourself. Like that post-workout feeling, the fact that you did that, like you should feel so good and so proud oh, amazing keep holding oh, okay back down and now let's stretch out our quads a little bit getting back on our bellies here go ahead and grab one foot bring it towards your glute stretch out the quad and other side bring it in Hold and stretch. Hmm. And once you're ready, you can come back up. Wowzy, wowzers, guys. That was intense on the booty. I would love to hear your feedback on this workout down in the comments below. Did it burn? Did you cry? Did you hate me? Did you want to kill me? It's fine if you did. You can let me know in the comments down below. But when you see those gains come in, you're going to thank me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all at the next workout.